Hey guys, I'm Ashley and this is Chip Builds and today we're going to make our own leather stitching pony. So this one, the arm is on a hinge so you can put any thickness of leather that you want in there and then there's a base. Uh, it wasn't a super perfect build, I did make a few mistakes along the way but let's check it out. I started off using pine for this project and I'm just cutting them down to roughly 15 inches long pieces. Then cut squares to use as the base. I glued and clamped them together, that way they would be plenty strong. Next I marked out the design and shape that I wanted with a pencil. I originally wanted to cut this out on my scroll saw, but it wasn't short enough, and uh, if I had a bandsaw still, it would have been a lot easier to do this, so I just used the belt sander, but it wasn't really working out very well. Okay, so these look really terrible, and I don't like how they're looking, and I guess that's my own issue for just kind of going at it blind and not really having any kind of plan. But uh, they're just too thick, you know, and that's like not a very good angle and it wouldn't fit in the scroll saw to cut off and I just wasn't really loving it. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to switch to a different kind of wood and I'm just going to cut some like angled pieces and attach them and I think that'll work out a lot better. Once I thought about the design a little bit more, I decided to use some scrapped walnut wood that I have. I repeated the process of cutting the walnut to size and this time I did it at 45 degree angle cut to make the angles on the stitching pony. Then I glued these together and clamped them. Once everything was dry, I cut another 45 degree angle off the top to try to make it look nicer. Next, I pre-drilled some holes and screwed some screws in to connect the one side to the base. Unfortunately, the wood still split on me, so I had to use some CA glue to try to fix it. Now it was time to add the hinge to the other arm so that it could fit any size thickness of leather. The hinge had a little round part at the end so I used a Dremel tool to create a recess for it to sit in. In hindsight, I should have planned way better because I drilled this nice little recess for it and that wasn't even the right place for the hinge to go. So here I pre-drilled some other holes and I'm hand screwing in the screws for this hinge and again, it is in the wrong spot. So there are a lot of unnecessary holes in this stitching pony. Once I figured out the right placement, I pre drilled a hole in the bottom through the boards and attached a couple screws to keep it all together. Next I used contact cement to attach some leather to the arms of the stitching pony that way when it's clamped together it won't make any marks on the leather project that you're stitching. Once that was dry, I used an X-Acto knife to trim off the hangover. Okay, so I think this came out mostly pretty good. Uh, one of the biggest issues I had was attaching the hinge to the movable arm. I don't know what was going on. I guess I was just tired or something, but I drilled so many unnecessary holes. And then I also didn't take into account that the uh, bottom of it would have to move freely. So I did end up having to make like a kind of a janky cut on the base of it to try to make it uh, fit. But overall, I hope you like this video. And if you make one, hopefully you can learn from my mistakes. Thanks for watching and please consider subscribing.